Hi, welcome back to Commander Speedy's channel. Um, I'm returning back to Elite Alpha 4.1, the uh, release that was made on Friday. Um, I've been trading throughout the weekend. You would have seen some of the other videos that I've been making as I've been going along, gradually grinding my way up, enjoying the trading between the routes, which is taking around five minutes now or so. Uh, understanding the super cruise and understanding um, how to do the jump and how to get that most efficient. Finding that actually the three-way star travelling is the best way to make money. Uh, they, from what I can see and also from reading from the forums, jumping between um, just two star systems isn't the most profitable way, but it's actually to travel between three. Uh, for example, buying fish at one, flying to the next, buying, uh, selling the fish to somewhere that say buy the uh, farming equipment type things, fly that to another place where you sell that and then you buy some of the minerals etc and flying around between them and so on. Um, but what I've done is I've actually now flown and I've come back to um, a position where I've actually flown to LP98132 where an, Ar an Arctic, Kayik, <laughs> as you can tell very hard for me to say, um, a government type of anarchy uh, which obviously flying here is quite risk, risky in terms of um, being pulled in by pirates as you're flying super cruise, um, which I've done to get here. Now I've been flying a basic sidewinder all the way through this uh, beta, just building up money. So basically, with a sidewinder, I've not added any weapons, anything else, and I've been trying to stay to the Federation environment to actually make a lot of money. Now I've actually got myself to just over 60,000 credits now and I'm at the point that I can go and buy an Eagle but before I do so I just wanted to come and whilst I had the money and had the option it's just to go to buy some gold really and do a gold run to one of the systems so I'm going to fly for Alp from LP98132 to Acelius Primus who is really um, a corporate state which is good um, an economy of high tech, so I'm expecting the uh, the gold to sell for a uh, good money. You now I'm finding that um, with the sidewinder right now, I'm making in the region of around about a thousand credits per journey. So it's taken a while, but you can do the mass yourself. It took a long time to get to um, ten thousand credits, and then it's it's rapidly got quicker as I've got to twenty then to 30 and then just suddenly and ra rapidly increased. Now, I've avoided buying weapons basically because when I've died, it's not made any difference whether I've lost my ship and I can renew my ship without any cost, effectively. So basically I can be able to build up my balance without worrying, but it does mean the downside of destroying my um, stats. So yes, I've, I've died plenty of times doing this. So I'm gonna go, so you'll see, from a money point of view, my balance is 60,523 credits. So I'm going to go and buy some gold. Now, I've been waiting for a while because gold's quite expensive to buy. And I'm not quite sure on the returns, but I'm imagining it's going to be a good couple of hundred credits, I would imagine, each. So, so it's taken quite a good chunk of my balance. And I'm hoping I can just hyperspace jump out without meeting any pirates. Otherwise, this is going to be a very short video. Um, okay. And that's R2 whistling at me at the background. Um, so I'm going to go to the star map. I'm going to go to Silius Primus. Lock the destination. I want to not get too cocky with this launch purely because um, I don't want to die on the uh, skin of the space station gear now oh, this is filling me with trepidation now I've not ever carried so much expensive cargo there are cheaper cargo in the thousands I'm just going to check my gear. I'm not sure whether it's working properly or not. My voice. Yeah, that's good. Good 
because my intention is is when I make it or if I make this the intention is I'm going to go and buy an Eagle which will be the first upgrade right, ship that I can afford which is about 41,000 credits I'll be quite interested in knowing what its stats are because you can't see beforehand and I'm also hoping to have some cash left over so I can actually buy some weapons for it as well but Warning. Just hoping, just keeping an eye on the game. You often get the warning depending on how quickly you're uh, you're accelerating or jumping away from the space station. So the hyper jump's quite quick. Now I was originally um, going into super cruise then hyper jumping, but that just seems pointless now. Going straight to hyper jump is best. Right, got to go and find where I'm going to fly to. Beagle's landing too. And still in Super Cruise, let's go to there as quickly as we can. And definitely to confirm, as people are mentioning, as you're flying through, flying through the stars and past the stars, gravitational effects come into play. And also, thanks for the observant in the past. Um, clearly, I've um, been pulled out of Super Cruise by the local cops, as it were, just scanning to make sure you're not carrying anything illegal, which is a nice touch. Um, so yeah, I just, whenever I'm pulled out of Super Cruise, I instantly get into the engines, spike it up to four pips, and jump out as quickly as I can. Something else I've observed, which is really useful, is when you're really coming in hot on the destination that you're flying into, there's obviously, um, the space station tends to orbit a planet. So you can actually use that gravitational force to help slow you down. So basically flying towards it and as you're getting close and you have to slow, you just fly away from the planet. And that will zap a lot of the speed out of your, your ship, which actually is very useful. So there's, there's lots of skill involved in this game, which I love. It's just these little nuances that just really help to add. Clearly, this is the day. Hopefully, I don't just go piling into a planet. Because when you do die with your ship, if, if your ship explodes, you lose all your cargo when you restart. Unless you pay for the insurance, which I've avoided by just flying the basic sidewinder. That's the choice that you make in this game at the start. Except the number of deaths that come along with it. The idea is for the um, Eagle. I've heard that it's meant to be more of a, um, a fighting ship. So the idea is, is I want to get some weapons as soon as I can, have some money left over for some trading, but really is to go and experience some of the um, fighting scenarios, which would be nice to change away from all the trading that I've been doing over the last few days. So here we come into a week or two landing. So as I said point it away slightly from the space station and it will there from these planets and it will slow you down slightly quicker than you would get if you just allow the uh, ship to slow down on its own engines it's a little bit jerky today I don't know what that's all about so here we come as I was mentioning before I've got to get down to 200 kilometers a second within 200 kilometers of the space station. Now I'm not sure whether it's true, everybody's been saying that they come in around 20 kilometers from the space station. I've been finding if you get the speed right and you leave it just a little bit to the last minute, you can get, but I've jumped within about 10 kilometers of the space station. And it's all about the timings of actually the speed that you're going at and the timings you press the super cruise exit button. Let's see if we can get this down. Here we go. So I was well within the 200 kilometers. And here we are at this loading screen where people have moaned, as I said before, about it connecting to all the local instance of somebody's game. Let's get to the space station. Ah, no, and this has brought me in with 19 kilometers. So it's very slightly nearer, but no, it, it, it must be random. There's some discussions also at the moment that um, I hadn't appreciate the subtlety of it. The boys have gone at the moment, the uh, little space um, beakers that hang out in space that 
ping out a little funny noise when you get close to it. Someone pointed out that if you flew to the buoys, you could then turn onto the space station, and when you turn, it showed you the ex the entrance and the exit, which is ideal. But they've been removed since 4.1. So I'm not sure whether that's on purpose or not. As mentioned before, the other way to finding out is look at the rotation of the space station and it can only be one of two sides, you've just got to work out which one you're going to go to. So I, I don't want to come in too hot this time, carrying some precious cargo. I want to definitely make it a land. There has been some kind players who have been dumping um, cargo as well for other players. Unfortunately, some of that, when you pick it up, it counts as illegal, so you can go and buy it on the black market, but you're only getting a thousand credits a time, but yet, yeah, I have must admit, I've I've scooped a couple of canisters that have been around the place. Right, nervous, nervous, nervous. <laughs> I just don't want to die, having got this far. This facility operates So I'm being a bit more... Uh, it's, it's very strange Elite, it's like the old, it's got the same feel with the old Elite where there is a level of risk and reward and it is very exciting when you're doing things and this has been one of my most favourite trips to the fact I'm carrying such expensive cargo. So it never ceases to amaze me how much tension it can bring. But as you can see, oh, 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 idiot. Knocking successful. <laughs> As you can see, the uh, trading is a skill that you can learn quickly. I'm sorry if I'm close to the camera, but the whole idea of the camera is just purely to get my sound recording right. So let's go to commodity markets. Right, let's let's have an interest to see. So gold, gold. So it's in the 9,000 mark. Ah, uh, no, it's 8,500. So it's the buy price that I've been looking at. And I must always remember that. For me, intuitively, it's the wrong way around, but that's just because my brain works in a funny way. So I've made, that's 3,000 credits. That's great, 3,100 credits. That's a good run, actually. Well worth going and buying gold. Okay, that's one of my most profitable trades. That's cool. Okay, I'm happy with that. Although, then again, thinking about that, yeah, there's been a couple of other trades that have not been far off it and a lot safer. Actually, flying to that um, star system, I say you get pulled two or three, I got pulled in three times from pirates, so I had to jump out. So, it, the actual elapsed time for the cruising to and the, the actual uh, trading session took a lot longer it was more like 10 to 15 minutes because of the the constant jumping out about out of cruise and into cruise um but it certainly added a lot of excitement but i'm going to go and do it let's go and buy an eagle yes it's there so 41,000. now i don't know whether you get any money back for the sidewinder i've got nothing on it so i can't actually strip it before buying let's do it let's do it Okay, I'm standing by. Oh, don't say he's broken on me. Now I'm getting worried. What's it doing? Oh, -hoo! oh, look at that. Hey, that's definitely changed. The cockpit's definitely changed. Can I look round? Oh no, I suppose I've got to be up on the launch pad before I can uh, mouse around and have a look round. Here we go then. No, I want to see how, first of all, I want to see 
I have no idea what. Um... Oh, I want to see how many. Uh, first of all, how many canisters it can take. Is it going to tell me? No. So we need to go into the commodity commodities market. Aha! So it takes four units. So it's exactly the same size in terms of cargo as the Sidewinder. There really needs to be a stats page for these, just so it tells you what the ships can do and what they can't. And what about outfitting? Whoa, look at that! That's looking like a sexy beast. And again, you could do with a... I doubt... No, you can't look around the ship, which is a shame. Oh, yes, you can. Ah, so it has two low hard points. And then the fixed point at the top. Cool. So it's actually shooting over the head of you rather than um, in front of you for the weapons. And they're class two hard points. Yeah, that was expecting, so I can afford to buy some weaponry. I think I might go and do one more trade before I... Uh, I think, yeah, I'm going to go do a one more trade. I'm going to do a little bit more before I jump into the fighting. Again, I'm a bit nervous. So where did, I'll go to Beatles too, didn't I? So let's go and have a look at the commodities again. And I'm so excited that I've... Uh, Need to go back to looking at where uh, I just want to think about what I'm going to do with my trade next. To be honest, um, I'm just looking to the right hand side. There is there's also been some kind people creating all sorts of nice spreadsheets, and there's a nice web page that does um, good ideas for trades, which has helped an awful lot to work out routes. So. I'm just having a look from Beagle 2 where I'm going to fly next. Yeah, this is what I thought. This is where I get. You want to buy the consumer tech. Is ideal. Which is at the 5,000 mark. And actually, it's very low at the moment. It's um, a good 100 credits lower than it's been for a while. So I can buy as much of that as I can afford. Oh, look at that, just fits into my mouth. Now, I definitely don't want to lose my ship. Otherwise, if I die now, I will be back to normal because that will be my premium. Do I want to do that? Do I want to do that? That's a bad buy, isn't it? I don't want to put, as like they say, all your eggs in one basket. I've just thrown some money away. That is silly of me. Yeah, I've just thrown away 800 credits, but actually... Yeah, that's left me 5,000. Hopefully that's enough for insurance premium. So I've got to think about it if I die. Sorry, my head keeps going off because I'm right in front of the monitor. <laughs> that's how excited it is. Let's go and find out what this ship's like to fly then. While well, that's going on. Just looking out, it was the um, Dahan, da, da, Dahan. That's where I want to go to. And do I get heads up look now? Oh, I do. So I'm going to look around the cockpit. Oh, beautiful! So you get a full view overhead. So a beautiful glass canopy. What about the instrument panel? Pop it over, look from the shoulder. That looks a bit disjointed, really. It's like, ooh, where's my head gone? That's not quite right. I've got no head. <laughs> Beautiful. So it's quite enclosed in here. Definitely a one man, unlike the Cobra, where it's a nice two man uh, bait. That's lovely. 
Okay, well, let's get out of it. Engines engaged. Put my gear up, come out slowly. Oh God. Oh, it's that moment where you're thinking, oh God. It's a bit like the Cobra moment when you first fly the Cobra. That's sounding nice. Oh, dig that sound. And that acceleration is a lot quicker than a sidewinder on about boost. Oh, that's beautiful. It is slower than the Cobra. I'd say the acceleration there is quicker. Initial feeling. Oh, right, enough of that. Oh, the temperature's quite high. Is that normal? Right, let's go and do a trade. Drive charging. Oh, I'm worried about the heat here. Warning, temperature critical. That's really high in temperature. Oh crap. That was up in the 160%, so I'm not keen on that heat. That'd be interesting to find out how much... I don't know when the ship actually explodes in terms of heat. But you do come out of um, into super cruise on a low temp. Oh, I don't want to be on star map until proximity is away from the star. I don't want to have to re-enter Super Cruise. Right, lock the destination. A couple of pips to engines. Not sure it makes much difference in Super Cruise. Oh, wow. I love the little... Um, the actual holograms of the ships, it's just a lovely touch, Frontier. It just is beautiful the way that you can see all these ships and the way as I'm turning it the ship will, uh, the hologram will turn as well. There's been um, one of the forum discussions I've had recently was um, there's no panel or indicator for both the gears and the lights, which is quite annoying but people, there's an argument people saying don't put it on the heads up display because obviously it'll get in the way, but I think Next to those holograms, uh, th there's no reason why we couldn't put in the lights and the gear panel there. Just a little icon just to show it's on or off. Because it's quite annoying at times to know whether you actually do have it on or not without going to the main immersive panel that people use. Right, I want to be careful here because there's a lot of uh, planets and uh, sites to fly to and what I don't want to do is be forced out of super cruise too quickly. This is one of the nice destinations to leap to. I've actually flown to the uh, rings and as you get closer they turn into the asteroids. It is just beautiful the way this game is working and I'll do that later and I'll also do a fly through the system I think later. Yes it's the other side should we fly through the rings? Can we do that without actually being sucked in? So just being an eye out for the uh, proximity. So let's keep the uh, planet. Using the mouse, look at that. This is what I love about it. You can really take a good old tour of the planet. And over my shoulder. Remembering I'm actually flying somewhere to a destination. I 
nicely under those rings. And as I say, under Super Cruise, if you fly closer, they do gradually turn. So the level of depth is brilliant in this game. It's really well balanced. Yeah, I don't want to get too. I don't want to come out too soon as Super Cruise. As I said before, you want to position yourself so you're flying away from the star and the gravitational effect will slow you down a little bit quicker. You need to get within the 200, so for the different types of ships clearly coming out super cruise is the same certainly for uh, the Eagle as to the Sidewinder. I'm going to pause just here. It's my daughter's birthday. So I'm going to be back in a second and I hope I don't die. Where was I? That was not a convenient place to stop. I might have to cut that out of the video. <laughs> Bit of charity collecting. It is my lunch time at the moment. Oh, beautiful sound. And while it's my lunch time, obviously, people want to do deliveries. Yeah, it's my daughter's ninth birthday today, so I'm well chuffed for her all that exciting day while she's at school. Right, so I'm definitely around the wrong side. Given the rotation. It definitely turns beautifully definitely has a feel of um, yeah I would say actually of a fight of aircraft more so than the Cobra or the um, Sidewinder for anyone who ever played Falcon F-15 or F-14 or whatever it was called on the Amiga or on the ST all those years ago it feels like that it's beautiful And those engines sound a bit more Star Wars essence than the other. It's got that screechy noise. Right, let's go and uh, let's see if my contacts allow me in. Request granted. Hooray. Whoa. A bit closer than I thought I was. Oh, that's going to take some getting used to. When the drive, there's a little bit of a slow delay, and then when the engines kick in, you get a bit more of a jolt. Oh, 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 oh! It's going to take me a little while to get used to this. It's definitely a little bit more nimble. I like it. What bay are we going to? Oh, I don't want to hang around here. Forty-four. You're meant to obey some sort of speed limit, but uh, oh, that was really close. I hope nobody else uh, laid, laid some eggs then. <laughs> that was just a little bit close for comfort. So here we are. Welcome to Dahan Gateway. What have we got? So we have 5,185 left. 
Now wish I bought four items. That's the problem with this game. It's all about risk and reward. And then you wish that you had done more. Yeah, so, yeah, I've made about a thousand credits on there. So it's not as valuable uh, trade run. But there you go. There's another trade run on another day um, with um, an eagle. I think my next portacle will be buying a weapon and going off and, and having a fight, really, or having a skirmish. Anyway, this is Commander Speedy signing off.